Welcome back, guys, to Trails from Zero, where last episode, the afternoon chapter three, day four patrol continued apace from the IBC to West Street, the residential and entertainment districts, and the back alley, before we completed it within the admin district and obtained a new chapter of Back Alley Dr. Glenn from Chief Sergey. We now talk to the Hayworths about their missing son. Okay. Literally the last guy. Hello. How are you two doing? You came. Oh, thank Adius. Good afternoon, Mr. and Mrs. Hayworth. If I heard correctly, you guys were watching the parade when you noticed your son had gone missing, right? That's right. I should have paid more attention. It's all my fault that he's... he's... Oh, Colin. Sophia, please. We have to stay calm. I apologize, everyone. She's just worried. We lost sight of Colin roughly three hours ago. It happened when we were watching the parade pass through this district. Sophia noticed almost immediately. We both searched around this area as hard as we could, but to no avail. Things being the way they are, we had no choice but to call the CPD. I think that was a smart move, Mr. Hayworth. We should start searching immediately. Let's split up and take each a different district. Good idea. The rest of the force seems swamped, so it'll be up to us. We'll just have to decide how best to divide ourselves. That is the question. Well, however we split up, we can always keep in touch with our enigmas. Please, he let me help as well. If I don't, who knows what might happen to... Sophia, it's going to be okay. I'm going to escort my wife home for the time being. We'll conduct a thorough search in the neighborhood once we've arrived. I would narrow down our list of places to search. Thanks. Everyone else? We'll split up and conduct our own searches in the other districts. Now, Mr. Hayworth, do you have anything that might help us find him? A photo of him would work best. Oh, really? We actually had some taken during the festival. Um, I have him here somewhere. Harold pulled an envelope out of his coat pocket. Here we go. Three pictures of Colin. Oh, how cute. For a little boy, he has quite a pretty face. My, my sweet boy. Come now, dear. Let's get out of the heat and wait for Colin to come home. Who knows? He may be waiting for us now. Harold, but what if... What if this happened again? It won't. It will never happen again, I swear it. Did they say again? I can only imagine what they must have been through before. Excuse us, the heat seems to have gone into our heads. It's just this is a lot to deal with. No, I completely understand. While you're here, do you have any of Colin's possessions on hand? Our police dog might be able to pick up his scent. That's the best option. Oh, of course. W would this work? Is his stuffed animal? Oh, a Mishy plush. We'll make sure to return it once he's found. Well, let's get a move on. As long as he's still in the city, he should be relatively safe. Leave it to us, Hayworths. Yes, of course. We can't thank you enough for your help. Now, how do we want to do this? Oh, but before that, allow me. Sight, mind giving us a hand. What a good boy. Uh, woof. Uh. You may rest assured now that I've arrived. Following this small child's scent will be as simple as taking an afternoon nap. Or so he says. But thanks, Sight. Actually, how did he already know the details of the case? Who knows? Guess we could just chalk that up to another one of his crazy wolf quirks. Whatever the case, let's get back on topic. In a city as large as this, how should we divide ourselves up? I will accompany Zeit, obviously. As I'm the only person who could understand him, that would be for the best. Fair enough. I'll leave the mission with you, then. Once Zeit finds the trail, follow it as far as you can. Roger. The rest of us will split up and search the different districts. I'll take care of the entertainment district, back alley, central square, station street, and west street. I'll take care of pretty much everywhere. Randy, you're in charge of east street in the downtown district. And Ellie, you can check out the administrative and harbour districts. Sound good to you guys? Yes, but doesn't that give you a lot of ground to cover? <coughs> well, the administrative and harbour districts are both large and have a lot of traffic right now. Downtown District 2, to an extent. My areas will be pretty easy to make my way through. I think it's a fair distribution of work. Makes sense when you put it that way. Alrighty, let's find ourselves a kid. We can use our enigmas to update each other on our progress as we go. Sound like a plan? Yep. If we are in agreement, then let us commence the search for Colin Hayworth. Off we go, then. 
Let's see, so I'm responsible for investigating the Entertainment District, Back Alley, Central Square, Station Street, and West Street. I have no idea where this kid could be, so I'll just have to search every location from top to bottom. As for buildings, I'll just speak with the receptionist, otherwise it's going to take forever. So, uh, I'm sweeping after my sweep. Patrolling my patrol. Oh, this woman might know something about Colin. Lloyd showed Colin's picture and asked if she knew anything about his disappearance. Wait, what's this about? You want to give me this photo or something? Uh, no, like I was trying to explain, we're, we're looking for the boy in this photo. Have you seen him around here recently? Sorry, I can't say he's ringing any bells. Besides, it's impossible to keep track of these festival crowds. People disappeared after the parade just as quickly as they appeared. I understand. Well, thank you for your time. So only certain people need to be talked to. Probably the people who are looking out or doing vendors, etc. Like this lady over here makes sense. It's a shot in the dark, but this bunny girl might know something about Colin. Uh, sorry, Han, but I've never seen this boy before. I doubt I would have noticed him if he walked past me with all these people around. Ah, uh, gotcha. Thank you for your cooperation. So you... I hope we didn't wander into the casino, but I'll ask if she knows something about Colin. Ah, oh, he's gone missing. I don't think he came by here. I definitely know it's a little boy trying to sneak into a place like this. Yeah, I guess you're right. Thank you for cooperating, ma'am. To the hotel, then. It might not be a bad idea to ask Kilika. You never know. Yeah, this person might know something about Colin. Oh, he's such a cutie. My apologies, but I don't recall him coming to our lobby before. That's unfortunate. Thank you for your cooperation, though. So when I say the receptionist, we do have two receptionists to talk to here. Bram. Oh, Kilix has gone. Ah, oh, this person might be able to give us some info about Colin. Missing child, my, that's concerning. Let me think. Um, I apologize, but I can't say for certain if I've seen him or not. There were simply too many people passing by outside for me to remember anyone in particular. That's unfortunate. Thank you for your cooperation, though. So it's looking bad at the moment. What room has Kilika got? It's not this one. I know it's not this one either. Kilika might have just gone out again. She might not actually be in a room. These rooms, they're so expensive. No one ever buys them. No one ever stays the night. That's just the fate of these rooms. This guy looks like trouble, but he might just know something about Colin. Missing kid, huh? No idea, pal. I only take note of any potential patrons. Besides, you think I'm going to remember a small kid with all the commotion from the parade? You make a fair point. Well, thank you for your cooperation. This man might know something details regarding Colin. Listen, kid. Actually, I think I've seen this kid somewhere before. Seriously. Maybe I was forced to pack up my stand before the parade passed by, so I was in a huge rush trying to get that taken care of. So I remember it's a bit foggy after all that scrambling around. I'm pretty confident that he hasn't passed by in the last hour, at least. The crowd's been gone for about that long. I see, that's good to know. Thank you for your time. So just an hour. We've got a time scale. That's not exactly brilliant. Can we ask here? Oh, you hardly see the place is empty. The afternoon show must have already ended. Lloyd, is that you? Ah, there's something going on again. Oh, Ilya and Risha. Did you come to hang out with your favorite gals again? We still have some time before the evening show. Want to join us for tea? Sorry, no can do. Unfortunately, I'm here on some work-related business. You see... Lloyd explained to Ilya and Risha that he is searching for a lost boy. Oh no, that's terrible. Well, it's definitely true that the kiddies love to come watch our shows. 
There's a chance one might have snuck in during a performance. Mind holding on for a minute, Lloyd? I'll check with the folks on break to see if they noticed anyone. W wait! I don't need you to go that far for me. When Celia has her mind set on something, there's no stopping her. I'll help her take a look around too. Please wait here just a moment, Lloyd. Well, doesn't look like he's hiding around the theatre right now. I'm sorry, I wish you could be more helpful. It's okay, I appreciate the help regardless. I should be apologising for bothering you. Don't sweat it, Lloyd. I'll be sure to notify the troop leader and the manager about the child. Should we contact the police in the event we do find him? Yeah, that'd be perfect. Thanks again, you two. Good luck with your evening performance. Send me your search, my favourite little guy. You're always welcome here, Lloyd. Alright, I think we've investigated the entertainment district thoroughly enough. Looks like the back alley is next. We'll keep asking around there just like we did here. Lloyd. Effortless. Effortlessly done with women. Effortlessly womanizing. That is Lloyd. Lloyd here. Yo, Randy, yeah? I made the rounds in East Street. No clues about the kiddo's location. Not even from the girl's receptionist. Alright, understood. I didn't have any luck in the entertainment district either. Let's continue the search for now. Aye aye, sir. I really hope we didn't go into the back alley, but this man might have seen Colin. Ah ha ha! Not a damn clue. Don't think I saw the kid. I see. Thank you for your cooperation. I doubt they let a child into a bar, but he might know of Colin's whereabouts. A lost kid. So I haven't seen him. This is a bar after all. We don't let kids run in around here. Makes sense. Thanks for your cooperation. Yeah, this person might know something about Colin. Oh, uh, let me think about it. I think I probably saw a couple of kids run by. Oh, really? Did any of them resemble the child in this photo? Uh, I'm not really sure, to be honest. I'm not really good at using my head. I just don't remember much, you know? My brain's all hazy. I just can't remember. Sorry. Ah, okay. Thanks for your cooperation. Nope, I can't ask you. Well, at least it seems like Colin couldn't have come this way. What a relief. <laughs> yeah, I know this is the place we hang out. We're missing kids. Investigation. Stat. Stat's probably the wrong place to use that, but still. It's possible that Melda might know something about Colin. Lloyd showed her Colin's picture. This boy? I'm afraid I don't recognize him. At the very least, I can tell you he's never set foot in the shop. <laughs> it's hardly the kind of place for children, and I'm sure you are. Uh, yeah. I'm sure you are. Aware. I see. Well, thank you for your help all the same. Alright, that's a wrap on the back alley investigation. Let's try asking around Central Square next. It's quite a lot to ask around Central Square. Long time no see. Huh? Oh, it's you, Ren. Good day, Detective. Oh, it's been about a month since we last met, hasn't it? Yeah, that sounds about right. What's up? Did you come to visit the antique shop again? Indeed, I've also come to take in the festival. I quite enjoyed that lovely parade. Were you able to watch it? I'm afraid not. I had to take care of some work, so I missed it. I'm worried about leaving her alone. She's mature for her age, but she's still a young girl. I'd take her back to the studio if I wasn't in the middle of an investigation. By the way, Detective, what are you doing all alone? Are you playing another game of hide-and-seek with someone? No, not quite. I'm looking for a missing child, actually. He supposedly disappeared during the parade and has yet to return home. Oh, I see. Do you have a photo? I might know him. That's a good idea. Would you mind taking a look? Lloyd showed Colin's picture to Ren. Ah! What's wrong? Do you know him? No. Ren has never known this child. Oh, uh... I see. However, he's quite a cute little boy, isn't he? You said you're looking for him, Detective. Yeah, my team split up to cover more ground. I'd like to get him back to his parents ASAP, but we haven't had any luck finding him yet. 
Mm-hmm. If that's the case, then I'll grant you a bit of my expertise. Huh? I told you before, didn't I? I'm quite skilled at hide and seek. I'm sure it won't be much effort to locate one naughty little boy. Yeah, but... Well, I was anxious about leaving her alone. I guess she can accompany me for now. If anything happens, I can always have a wait for me at the SS... 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 building, sure. Alright, I'll be counting on you, Ren. You can assist me in my investigation for a little bit. <laughs> Very well. I'll do everything I can to help, Lloyd. Thanks, I appreciate it. I got caught on the amount of S's, and then I just had to keep on going. So Ren is now following us. Hello? Lloyd, it's Ellie. I just finished my search in the administrative district. I couldn't find Colin, but I found someone who might have seen him. It says he saw a similar looking boy following the prey from the rear all on his own. Really? That's a solid lead. I'll leave the harbour district in your hands. Of course, I'll keep you posted. Following the parade? He must have been chasing after that float then. Oh, you were listening in. Which float are you talking about? The one that had that cat mascot, Mishy, riding on top. This design was quite amusing. Well, that would definitely be the kind of thing to catch a kid's attention. So should I stop asking around at food stalls and focus on kids and receptionists then? I mean, that's definitely how the game's just decided to go. Might as well try asking Ryu about Collins since up here. Ryu, got a moment. We're looking for this little kid. Oh, this kid got lost. Let me think. I definitely feel like I've seen him before, but then again... How exceedingly vague. Uh, I'd expect a boy such as yourself to be more confident, but it seems I was off the mark. Hey, hey, that's... I mean... Hold on, I think I might have seen him for just a sec. I was kind of focused on the parade, so I wasn't looking at the other kids. Can't blame you there. Thanks for you. That actually helps a lot. Ren biting away. Maybe this guy has some information that'll help us find Colin. Oh, poor kid got lost. That's terrible. I unfortunately don't have any clues for you. I don't think he showed up in his restroom. I see. Thanks to your cooperation. Well, that photo, though. He really is a beautiful little boy. Also, I can't help but feel he looks similar to your friend there. Now that I think about it, they do sort of resemble each other. I accidentally talked to him twice, and it was worth... <laughs> Oh. There sure are a lot of people. Let's investigate this area for a little while, okay? Fine with me. I think asking the reception ladies and the kids around here will prove quite sufficient. My force exactly. You're pretty sharp, eh, Ren? Why, mm, thank you. I like to think so. Oh, these two might know something about Colin. Missing child. Oh dear, this boy's gone and lost. That's terrible to hear. But I'm afraid I haven't seen him. What about you, Pearl? Any ideas? No, I don't recall seeing him either. I know there were quite a few kids around when the parade passed by, but they were all with their parents. I'm terribly sorry, but I don't believe that boy ever came into the department store. I see. Thank you. I appreciate the info all the same. I don't remember seeing him either. Sorry, sorry, but I don't believe that boy ever came here. It's possible that this kid might know something about Colin. Ah, oh, um, sorry, but I don't recognize that boy at all. I know I definitely haven't seen him around any time recently. I see, thanks. I appreciate the help. That should be all the kids in here, right? Talking about Phantom Fifi. Yeah, that's all the receptionists, etc. So that should be this place done. Unless the old man counts too. Oh, wait a second. Ah, oh, so not even severe pearl saw this boy, huh? In that case, I'm afraid he probably never stepped foot in our department store at all. I apologize for not being of any more help, but I do wish you luck. Get a bit more dialogue there. Is that a new dialogue? 
During the anniversary festival, I've called a lot of people. Oh no, that is the same dialogue. Good. Curiosity nearly pulled me back. Do you count as a kid? You're a brother. Obviously not. Do you count as a kid? Nope. There's only two kids on the uh, the place, really. You're looking at receptionists. You've got Genten's receptionist, which would be you. No. Nope. You're the receptionist here. Wendy, do you have a minute? Could you tell me if you've seen this kid before? Eh, uh, what now? Lloyd showed Con's picture. Oh, he's around five years old, you say? He's a bit younger than Pansy, then. I'm sorry, Lloyd, I wasn't able to catch the phrase, so I haven't seen this kid. So you don't think he entered Genten at any point? Yeah, I could say with full confidence that he hasn't entered the store. I like to keep track of how many times the orbital door over there opens. I... I see. That's a very Wendy reason to be sure. Thanks for that, Wendy. Look crazy crowded out there. I hope we didn't get lost in all of that. Oh, hey, why don't you get that police dog of yours to help search? Zeit, was it? He's actually already on the case. I asked Tio to take a look around with him. Though, given how packed with people the streets are, I imagine it will still take quite some time. Guess we'll just have to pound the pavement and keep asking around then, huh? You got this, Lloyd. I'll try my best. If she was at the parade, she might have noticed something. Ah, this boy. I'm actually... I think I might have saw him following the parade. Oh, really? You've seen him? Yep, he was at the very end trying to keep up with the rest of the floats. At least I'm pretty sure it was a boy in your photo. Gotcha. That lines up with what Ellie told me too. Thanks, Mimi. You were a lot of help. There's only one receptionist left. <laughs> definitely not come here. Benny Lucky might have some info for us about Colin. Oh, it's time to use a photo for your investigation now, are you? Look at you acting all police-like. Ah, thanks. So do you have any clues? He's the child of an acquaintance of ours. I didn't actually get to see the parade. Unless he came into the store, I wouldn't have seen him. However, if he stuck to the parade, then shouldn't he be on East Street? The parade route was supposed to head that way, after all. I see. Gordon had Randy's reports. East Street was a bus, though. Well, then, what do we do now? Let's continue with the investigation as planned. Making a call without having all of the information is never a good idea. All right, I think this should cover it for the Central Square investigation. Station Street is next. I see you're quite the cautious one. I knew you'd be interesting. All right, another place done. Race route should have taken it through East Street from here. Assuming he's following the parade, then you should be somewhere around there, wouldn't you say? Incorrect. Big no. Loy speaking. It's Tio. Zai and I have been following Colin's scent. However, given the abundance of people here, we have not discovered a definitive trail. I was afraid of that. The trails we have found do not go past the south exit, nor inside the train station. At least that is what Zai concluded after investigating those locations. Oof. Got it. Could you check the other exits to make sure he hasn't left through those? Roger. We will proceed with our investigation heading counterclockwise, making our way toward the east exit. Thanks, you two. Hmm, so she chose to tag along with the big bad wolf then. Still, turning me into a police dog. You guys come up with some interesting ideas. Well, we didn't have much of a choice. He walked right into the SSS building, and that was that. Wait a minute, how would you know so much about us, Ren? Hmm, who's to say? Because there's no receptionist here. There's a kid. Um, I don't think I've seen him before. I was here all day, so I would have remembered someone like him. I see. Well, thanks for your help. I thought like you had a question mark on the guy then. But yeah, there's no one to ask. One was like Colin didn't head towards Crossbell Station. We should have to scratch that off our list. What did Zeit say? I was too busy going like, well, I'm still going to talk to people here to actually pay attention, to be perfectly honest with you. He did not leave via the south exit. The door is locked. There is no reason to open it right now. Crossbell's very own dead of monsters, the Geofront. 
Can't go inside without a key from the city hall. So you can scratch it off your list. Good point. How do you know it's a den of monsters? Hold on, how could you possibly know that? Sure, someone could have told you about the monsters, but the thing about City Hall... Mm-hmm. I know a lot more about the city than you seem to think. In fact, I've explored every nook and cranny of it by now. And I can peek in on all sorts of places in my other playground, too. Other playground? She can't be. Shall we continue, Detective? We still have to return that poor child to his kind papa and mama, right? Ren, are you... Yeah, you're right. Let's keep searching. Colin's safety should be our top priority. Looks like Colin didn't wander into this part of town. But now we should just head back to Central Square and start investigating West Street. So, he's put two and two together, but he's not confirming anything. Hello. Hey, it's Randy. I'm checking out the downtown district as we speak. Sounds like our kid Colin was hanging around here after all. Seriously? While he was watching the parade, the kids in the downtown district invited him to play for a little bit. They said he suddenly left to go back to East Street. He certainly gets around. I can't tell if Colin's a brave kid or he's just oblivious to danger. Tell me about it. It's Tio. I apologize for the interruption. Tio? The hell? We could do freeway calls on these things. Or, or more if necessary. Zyke couldn't find any trace of Colin's scent at the east exit. We are passing through the Harbour District now, heading up towards the north exit. Thanks for the update. Should I try going around East Street one more time, just in case? Yeah, he probably passed through there at some point. Another lap wouldn't hurt. Leave it to me, boss man. Our elusive boy is quite skilled at playing tag, isn't he? After all, he followed the prey from the Administrative District, through the Entertainment District, Back Alley, Central Square, East Street, and then the Downtown District. Then we know he returned to East Street, heading to the Harbour District. That appears to be his route, yes? Wow, you really are sharp. You took the words right out of my mouth. For the time being, I'll leave those areas to the rest of the team since they're closer. Next, I'd like to check out West Street. Are you okay with that? I don't see why I shouldn't. Why I wouldn't be? Eliminating possibilities is always worthwhile. It is indeed. Oh, I should probably check that. No. Kids again? Oh, the kids are good. The, normal, the kids that are normally here are gone. Good to see you, Lloyd. And who's this lovely little lady? What are you two up to? I'm trying to find a missing person. Have you seen the child in this photo? Hey, isn't that Colin? Wait, you know him? Yeah, he lives in the residential district, I think. Somebody comes by to buy bread every once in a while. Kind of think of it, I haven't seen them today. Actually, I didn't see them, see them around during the parade either. Also, all right, thanks for the info. You've been a huge help. I know that kid, but he hasn't been in here today. I don't think I saw him pass by our side either. I'll say there's uh, less receptionists to speak to, isn't there? Lloyd showed Colin's picture to Bennett. Ah, I feel like I've seen this kid around before. Definitely haven't seen him today, though. I'd notice if a little kid were here by himself. I see. Thank you for your cooperation. I guess General Store Talis. Mr. Ironwood? Uh, maybe Talis will know something about Colin. A child has gone missing. That's horrible. Oh, I missed the parade today, so I only caught a couple glimpses of it from afar. I was so far away, I don't think I can really be of any help to you. I see. Thank you anyway. At least there's a kid in Grimmer's place. Missing child. I'm afraid we don't have anything about that. Both Mr. Grimwood and I weren't able to head out and watch the parade. I can still hear all the fun music they were playing from in here, though. Hello there, Lloyd. Working alone today? Well, only temporarily. Might as well ask Mr. Grimwood about Colin, too. Oh, uh, Harold's son has gone missing. I'm sorry, Lloyd. Right before the parade started, a client ran in here looking for some business advice. I still haven't had a chance to go outside. I see. Even so, thanks for your help as always, sir. You know, I imagine Mrs. Hayworth is beside herself with worry. Lloyd, you must find this boy. Yes, sir. So you know something about this that we don't? Maybe. 
Uh, there isn't really any kids or technically any receptionists. When you think of the receptionist here, it would be her. But no. Little boy, you say? Sorry, I can't say I've seen him. She had changed dialogue at the very least. It's interesting because this time around it didn't get us to target talking to someone, you know what I mean? Any specifics? So where do I go from here? We weren't really given that extra bit of information. Oh, I guess the guy with the camera. I'm sure Uncle Miles saw the parade. We should try asking him for details. Hey, Uncle Miles, do you have a second? There's something I need to ask. Is this the child you were talking about? It looks exactly like him. I'm pretty sure I've met this kid recently. Seriously? Yeah, he bumped into me while I was walking around East Street. I believe he ran up north from there. He ran north from East Street? That means he headed to the Harbour District. Yeah, it sounds likely. Thanks a lot, Uncle Miles. You've been incredibly helpful. I should cover West Street. I wonder if the others are having better luck than me. You're worrying, Ren. 